everyone, Sam back once again, and yes, it's time for another video for you. I've had a lot of good feedback of my previous videos similar to this one, so I'm at it again. And today, we're going to be talking about what it says up there, the HTC One X or the Samsung Galaxy S3. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to get straight to the point and tell you which I device I prefer and why. And then, you know, you can leave a comment down below telling me if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Um, if you think I'm right, then why am I right? If I'm wrong, then tell me why I'm wrong. You know, it's all about a debate, it's all about a discussion. We've had a good discussion over the last couple of videos, and I want to keep that going, you know. It basically keeps these kind of videos going, and it makes it more fun. So, here we go. The device that I choose as my daily driver, that's using my main SIM card, is the Samsung Galaxy S3. A couple of reasons. Um, I'll just re you know, reel them off for you. Number one, it's the fastest device I've ever had. There's no lag, it's just pure awesomeness and speed. You just can't beat it. The camera, it's an 8 megapixel camera, very similar to the One X, but to me, it is a better camera. Um, I can't give you any exact reason why, it just seems a little bit sharper um, to my personal you know, taste. Again, it's all down to personal preference. And last but not least, the screen, believe it or not. Um, I'm not a fan of the Pentel Matrix, the honest answer. And yes, if you hold it up to your face like here, then yes, you can see it, but I don't hold my screen up to my face where I can't actually read the text. You know, I normally have my device. If I'm going to have my device, you know, how can I have it about, like, say there, if I'm going to read it? And can I tell Can I tell from there? I cannot tell at all. And if you're wondering, that's the, um, the Spigen um, SGP Neo Hybrid case. If you want to see that one, I'll put like a little annotation about it here for you. It's an awesome, awesome case. It's the case I use now. Um, anyway, let's carry on with this one. But yeah, the screen on it. And the reason why I prefer the screen over the One X is for the colours and for the blacks. Honest answer is, the actual One X screen is sharper due to using, obviously it's not a lot of Pentar Matrix. I think it's an IPS display. And it is, it is a very, very nice screen. The problem is, is that the blacks seem a little wishy-washy. I know they're not. It's just normal for an LCD, but I like that pure black and that pure block colour. It's all down to personal preference, but that's just my you know, my take on it. Is the HTC One X a bad device? No. It's still got a very fast processor. The camera on it is pretty damn spectacular. And yeah, that screen is amazing. If you're not bothered about having pure black, then the HTC One X screen is actually better than the Galaxy S3. If you're looking for something, you know, a bit more depth of field in terms of the camera, it has got an f2.0 lens on there, so it gives you a bit of a, a bit of a depth of field. But again, I can't, you know, I don't know exactly why, but pictures to me and the autofocus just seems faster on the Galaxy S3 than it does on the HTC One X. Build quality, to be honest with you, the One X has got a better build quality, but I use, you know, I'm rocking my Galaxy S3 in a case, and in a case, but honestly, I can't tell no difference. You know, if you put both in cases, then what's the point of having good build quality? If you can have them both naked, yes, the HTC One X is a better build. You know, it's a better built device. But I put my phone in the case only because some of the cases that are out now are pretty damn nice. So run it down for you. The reason why I choose the Galaxy S3 for my personal, you know, my personal needs is I prefer the camera. It's faster. It's much faster on day-to-day -day usage. And I prefer this, you know, I actually prefer the um, the screen as well. Again, just for those pure blacks. You tell me what you think. Have you got a HTC One X? Have you got a Galaxy S3? If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the you know, comments below why. And I will have a good discussion on it. Again, HTC One X is not a bad device. It is still a very, very, you know, a very good device. It's just a little laggy at times. That's one other reason. But anyway, that's for a future video. Anyway, people, I'm going to get off this one. If you've got any of these kind of videos again, you want my opinion on something else, I've had a lot of questions, so I've had a lot, got a lot of these videos in the bag already to shoot. Anything you want to know specifically, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullen. If you like these kind of videos, then please do hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. And finally, if you're not subscribed and you want to subscribe, it's completely free and you can click it up above. Anyway, people, thank you for watching, and I will see you, or should I say, you will see me in a future video. Cheers, everyone.